Our next guest is world famous for his beautiful skating skills, his intricate footwork, and for the records he has set throughout his career. In January, Patrick Chan won his 10th Canadian national title before heading off to the Olympics to bring home a gold medal in the team figure skating event. He's also a three-time, three consecutive time world champion. And Patrick joins us now in studio. Patrick, an honor to have you here Thank with you. us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Seth. Thank you for bringing the hard work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, you don't have to twist my arm. <laughs> what was it like to compete this time around in Korea? Uh, well, it was a wonderful experience. This, really the third time around, I was able to really take the time to enjoy it and um, be a little more aware of my surroundings and aware of how how I should take my time to look around and, and enjoy it. Because, a little perspective. Yeah, yeah. The first two times were so, um, they went by so fast and, um, and I rushed through the experience and this third time was wonderful and Korea did a great job hosting us. What about competing alongside your teammates in the, mm. in the team event? Yeah, after, so Sochi was the first Olympics that had the team event, yeah. and uh, we got a silver medal, medal out of that event. And after Sochi, we all kind of decided collectively that if we came back for third games, and uh, or some of us are second, and uh, that we would commit and, and really commit to the fact that we wanted to win a gold medal yeah. um, in the team event because we have such a strong team um, and uh, a very, very uh, successful team that was able to win. Well, and I think Canadians really love that event now. Mm -hmm. I think it was a, a revelation in Sochi, but, yeah. but we got to really um, experience it uh, fully this time because we've, we've always loved our, these individual events or these, these events that seem to be in silos and to have them all competing as one, yeah. I think really meant something to the country. It really did, and I think maybe because some of the NHL hockey players weren't there, it kind of, we, we drew a little more attention oh, to the yeah. team event. And, and, and we have such a great group and great characters on the team, and it really, uh, we, we made the best out of it, and we really embraced the moment, embraced every performance that we um, shared together. We, we've got some pictures I want to share because you were one of the first skaters to include two quads in your free program. Yes. No easy feat, so let's let's take a look at these pictures. <laughs> so first you hurdle yourself in the air. Yeah. <laughs> then you complete four revolutions and come back down, hopefully, on in one piece, <laughs> just like this. Yeah. But sometimes, and you're not alone, skaters end up on their backside. Yes. So what's it like to take that risk and mm -hmm. to nail it? Uh, and and, and take me through the feeling of that. Yeah, there's a big challenge in figure skating is getting past the fear of making a mistake yeah. because we are all eyes are on us there's there's no one else on the ice everybody's watching us and uh being having that confidence and that drive to just go for it it's i think it teaches you a lot to just push through the fear and and sometimes you're going to land sometimes you're going to fall but that's kind of part of the process of being successful in the end is there such a thing as falling with grace yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and figure skaters do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> now, talk to me about what happens once the stress and the emotion of competing in the games goes away. What do you fill that emotional space with? Great question. Uh, this this time around, I've I've set a, a lot of opportunities up for after my career, my competitive career. Um, I've been able to transition into my real life better than I did after Sochi. And I've had tremendous support from all my friends, my family, all the Canadian support throughout the years. And um, I, being with RBC since 2012 is so helpful. They have the RBC Olympian program where we get to shadow um, in, in the workforce. And that, that type of program really helps us transition, not just myself, but other Olympians who are medalists and some aren't. But what a great program for, for us to help us transition into real life. We, we had Scott Moyer here last week. I think it was last week. <laughs> and we had some pictures of him at the women's hockey, hockey game, game final. Oh, yeah. You're sitting next to him. Yeah, yeah, giving him some side eye. Are yeah. you uh, <laughs> very uncomfortable or just kind of uncomfortable <laughs> with how he's sort of given her? You know what? I know, I've known Scott for so long, and it's, it's not any different than normal. Like he's always had so much energy and it comes to hockey, you just let him do his thing and he gets very passionate about it. And, um, but what a great time we had. We know uh, the Olympics are over. You're heading out uh, with stars on ice next month. Yes. Uh, have you set the long-term plans of the next chapter of your career in motion? Do you know where yeah. you're gonna be four years from now? 
one thing that the Olympics have taught me is that, and this third time around, is not, not to look that far ahead okay. and plan that far, four years ahead, five years ahead. Um, I just take it step by step. First was establishing myself in Vancouver um, because I love that. What a beautiful place to live. And uh, second of all, just, okay, what's the next step? What's, what kind of maybe going to school, maybe getting a degree, maybe um, working in, in, the, in the workforce, yeah. somehow getting involved in, in that sort of thing. And if I like it, great. If I, I'll keep going that way. If I don't, then I'll just try and find something else. But all I know is that I'll take it step by step and uh, not get too far ahead of myself. Uh, Patrick, you've been representing our country for so many years with such dignity and grace and success. So whatever you do next, you've got the backing of a, a very thankful country. And thank you well, for being here today. Thank Wish you. Wish you all the best.